what's up sisters today i'll be doing this pretty and pink sparkling cut crease eye makeup tutorial first i've already primed my face and did my brows so i'm gonna go in and prime my eyelids now with laura mercier's eye primer in the color wheat and i'm setting it also with laura mercier's translucent powder so it'll be easier for me to apply my eyeshadow now i'm going to my morphe 350 palette and i'm going to get this camel color that i like to use as a transition color and i'm going to apply this right above my crease and underneath my eyebrow bone and just do window swipes with a tapered brush which picks up colors really really easy and just build that up for a nice transition for the next color I'm going to my morphe 35b palette i'm getting this light baby pink color and i'm applying it right over my transition color still above the crease and underneath the brow bone and doing the same window swipes blending that in so my other pink colors will transition into it well Next, I'm going to my Morphe 35 U palette and getting this metallic mauve pink color. And I'm applying this right above my crease, kind of closer than the other colors, bringing it down and blending that with a tapered brush. Make sure you take a naked brush and make sure you blend that into the baby pink as well so there's no harsh lines. Going back into my Morphe 350 palette, I'm taking this reddish brown and applying this directly to my crease using my Sigma 350 brush and I'm going all the way across my crease and then I'm going to blend that in with my tapered brush into my other transition colors um, that's above my crease. Make sure you blend well and build it up so you can have a nice defined cut crease. Next I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color caramel and I'm going to apply this all over my lid using a concealer brush and I'm going to cut my crease right below my crease line making sure that reddish brown we just applied still shows and apply this all over instead of with Laura Mercier's setting powder. Going back into my Morphe 350 palette I'm taking this dark brown and I'm applying this right on the outer corner underneath my crease line creating a smoky look. I'm only keeping this on the outer corners and I'm using a smudge brush and I'm just blending that inwards. I'm going to use that same mauve pink color from my Morphe 35U palette and I'm taking a flat brush and I'm patting that into the center of my eyelid, kind of keeping it on the outer parts of it and staying underneath my crease and I'm going to blend that into the dark brown as well for a good transition and blend. Going back into my Morphe 350 palette, I'm taking this metallic silverish pink color and I'm applying that to the inner corner of my eye and bringing that to the center creating a nice highlighted color and contrast to my eye. I'm also patting this color in with a flat brush and blending that in to the mauve color as well. Make sure you're careful not to go over your crease. Since I don't use tape, I just take my NARS Creamy Concealer and clean up the outside of my eyeshadow creating a sharper look. Before I apply any glitter, I go and use my Tarte Clay Pot Liner and I'm just giving myself a nice wing. I'm not a fan of this um, clay liner. I ran out of my liquid liner that I usually use, but it'll work for today. To apply my glitter, I'm going in with Too Faced Glitter Glue with a lip brush and I'm applying it only to my lid underneath my crease on top of the mauve color and slightly going forward with it. I'm just patting that slightly in, not being too hard on my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to dip into my eye candy glitter in the color Double Bubble. It's a pinkish color and I'm going to pat that over the areas that I applied the glue so the glitter can stick. I really don't play with glitter much, but I was pretty excited to finally use some to get this nice look. If you would like a tutorial on how to do my face routine for my foundation and contouring and stuff, let me know below. Now I'm going to go back into my lower lid after doing all of that. And I'm applying that same mauve color and then going back on top of that mauve color with that reddish brown color, giving it some more depth to my lower lid. To finish off my eyeshadow, I'm going to take that same metallic light pink color that I applied to the inner corner of my eyelid and I'm going to apply that directly to my waterline using an angled brush making my eyes appear brighter and bigger. Once I'm done with my eyeshadow, I like to go back and highlight my brow bone with my Draws Cosmetic Star Powder Highlighter and also put that on the inner corner of my eyes to do a highlight there as well. 
I am using Tarte's Light Camera Flashes Mascara and then I also use my Armika Lashes and I apply those off camera because I struggle putting lashes on all the time. For my lips I'm using Navi's Dark Chocolate Lip Liner and then I'm taking Colored Rain Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Mars and I'm applying that all over my lips. I tend to trace back over my lip liner after I apply my lipstick to give my lips a better dimension. To finish my face, I'm using Gerard's Cosmetics Lay All Day Setting Spray. And I'm just spraying that all over and that will complete my look. I hope you ladies enjoy this tutorial. Please comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And more makeup and vlog videos coming to you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out sisters.